Hi friends! Let's take a look at all the steps to open a Binance account. First of all, you need to have an account on Binance. It's quite easy to open it. Go to the Binance website. You can use the link in the video description. Then, to open an account, you need an email or a mobile phone to which a confirmation code will be sent. By the way, I recommend you sign up with email first and then add your phone for more protection of your account. I also recommend using the referral ID in the box below, which will give you a $300 welcome bonus. Just enter the number you see on the screen right now. And that's it, the account is open. The next step is to go through verification. The verification process is typically swift, taking just a few minutes of your time. However, after completing the process, you'll need to patiently wait for approval. This usually occurs within 24 hours, allowing you to proceed with full access to Binance's wide range of features and services. To verify your account, enter your full name, date of birth and residential address. Ensure that the details you provide match the information on your identification document. Prepare your passport or government-issued ID card. You will need to take a picture of both sides of your document, then take a selfie and it's done. This is a standard process for any financial institutions. Then, I recommend you to set up a two-factor authentication in your account. To do this, open the security section and you will see the line Phone Number. Click Manage to bind the phone. After that, a confirmation code will be sent to your email. Then you will be able to enter your phone number and then enter the code that will come to your phone. And that's it. I also recommend for everyone to install the Authentificator app. It is located in the security section. You will see the line Authentificator app here. Click Manage to set up. Here, when you click Enable, your QR code will appear, which must be scanned in the application. The application can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play. It is called Google Authenticator. After you scan this code, a six-digit code will be updated in the application once a minute. This code can be used to confirm login or withdrawal. That's it. When all the protections are in place and you have been verified by the documents, you can fully use Binance. Binance can be considered as an alternative to the well-known banking application, but this is a whole new place for your finances. And one more thing I'd like to say. If you sign up using the link from the description, you have the opportunity to get the $300 welcome bonus in the form of wireless watches. To do this, simply click on your profile icon in the upper right corner. You will see the rewards hub in the drop-down menu. This is where you will find all the rewards for signing up but you will only have a week to complete some tasks and collect rewards. Okay, the next question you might have is how to fund this account. Here, possible to buy cryptocurrency with a bank card. Or through the bank deposit if the amount is large and you don't want to pay commission. On this platform, there are always options to deposit funds through P2P. Go to the appropriate section and you will see a lot of bank applications and people who make transfers. But here, all transfers have to be done manually and Binance acts as a guarantor. It is better to be guided here by reviews. Selling cryptocurrency and receiving money to your bank account or card is similar to a bank card, direct transfer to a bank account or via P2P. When the funds were put into the exchange, the fastest way to exchange them for a crypto the current exchange rate is conversion or place orders at the desired price on spot market. But you need at least a little understanding of how the market works. That the order will be triggered when the market price is the same as in your order. You can also deposit cryptocurrency that you bought on another exchange or hand it to you, for example by a friend. But, pay attention to the choice of network when depositing cryptocurrency. It must be the same one in which the transfer is made, otherwise the translation can get lost. When the desired cryptocurrency for the deposit and network are selected, you will receive a personal unique wallet number. You can deposit crypto to Binance and sell it and withdraw it to your bank account. After buying cryptocurrency or transferring to Binance, you will be able to see your balance in crypto and its value to dollars. You can find this information in the dashboard of your account. It will show also the statistic of price changes in dollars over time. And if you bought cryptocurrency on an exchange but you want to keep it in your personal wallet, you can go to the wallet of the exchange and withdraw it. To do this, select the cryptocurrency you want to withdraw. Click button withdraw and enter the address and network of the wallet to which you want to send and how much coins. But pay special attention to the choice of network when withdrawing cryptocurrency. Friends, I'd like to remind you that when you enter the special referral ID during the registration process, you will get a $300 bonuses to your new account. If you go to the Binance via the link from the video description, the bonus will be activated automatically. So, that's all for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks and goodbye.